Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, okay, so I know you guys are like, hey, why don't you go get a different thing since it's routed? Go launch your EX most blah, blah, blah. some kind of launcher thing that makes it look very nice and pretty. But here is the issue of that to keep that to work, you have to leave it there. So that's just really upsetting. Like, it won't allow me to just show you what I mean. Uh, let me just download this sea launcher, okay? It's like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I know, yeah, I know. But here's the thing. The Kindle Fire itself has a thing that it blocks. It, it doesn't even have the program needed for it to change its launcher to a different way. So yeah, you see, look, I downloaded sea launcher. Now watch. Ta-da! Still looks exactly the freaking same, okay? And yeah. Oh. I don't need that right now, but so as you can see, it did absolutely nothing. It won't do anything, even on the Google Play Store. Um, I'll just yeah. Okay, let's install this one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, you m want to watch out for like launchers because some of them, since you're allowing them to look into your s history and all that stuff, your device account information, blah blah blah. Some of them will actually try hacking you, which is not good at all, especially for your uh for your Kindle Fire. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm getting low on battery noise. How long does it take to install? So yeah, watch. I tap on it. It says yay. Watch this. It's gonna look. Ta da! Okay, it's gonna load out. It's gonna look pretty and all, and it's like, get ready to enjoy a new mobile is about to start, blah, blah, blah. Then, ta-da! Isn't this beautiful? I think it is. I think it's love. I think it's life. I think it's everything. Man, it's just like, pretty. Pretty as poop. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But here's the thing. Um... Yeah, I know, it's so annoying, but here's the thing, if you, I, since we are Kindle users, we have the habit of, whenever we want to exit an app, let's say YouTube, okay, for example, and we want to get back to our launcher to switch to a different application, we hit the home screen, watch this, gone, and when I go access the setting on any of the launchers, I've been gone to every single launchers, you know, there are, like, things you can, like, set as default to open. Like, if you have two Word document file openers, it's, like, uh, you can choose one of them, and then you can click uh, set as default opener. But that's not going to happen with this, okay? Holy crap. Oh, wow. That's... Hey, I might actually keep this. This is pretty cool. What's a ghost store? Oh, there's the go market. What is this? Okay, never mind. If you just wanna, well, this game, all the games here are already free. It's not like it was before free. Still, I suggest Moby Gen, whatever. Yeah, so pretty nice actually. I mean, what you can do is just leave it like this and then. Shut off your device, which I'm not gonna do, which will stop the recording immediately. Yeah, see, but that's so cool. Oh no, I don't want. See, yeah, see, there we go. It crashes every so often because it's not used to the database it's using to use it. So I'm like, it's not worth it. So go launcher EX if you just wanna go get a launcher, make it look pretty. It's your decision. I have yet to find a way to get rid of the original launcher view, but I think I have might have found a way, <laughs> but at the same time, it's pretty risky, and this will only work for Kindle Fire, not Kindle Fire HD, because Kindle Fire HDs and above, they all use, they have ads and stuff, this will only change, you know, your front cover, whenever you open up your device, you're like, see an ad. But for the Kindle Fire HD, they see pictures. For that reason, it's because if you go to, um, is there like a button I can press? Uh, go to your device. If you go to your system, I'm pretty sure bin. No, wrong one. I'm looking in the wrong one, but I know it's in here somewhere, but 
can't remember for the life of me right now, but if I can find it, yeah, so as you can see, this is the app place, blah, 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 it shows you all the APKs on your device, which is actually pretty nice. But if you try tapping on them, it's just going to ask you to re-download, and it's not going to do anything. So, yeah. So, this is how it works. This is how it looks like. And, yeah. And there's my little, there's my beautiful, oh, my beautiful, my beautiful Google Play. Okay, so, yeah, as I was speaking, yeah, that's it. And mm, that's all I pretty much have to say to you, but... There are, there was, uh, oh yeah, Kindle special offers right there. My belief is that if I were to delete this, it will only enable right there. If you don't see it, oh, not there, dude. There, you see this? My belief is that if you delete this, it will only show the pictures you have for the gallery when you open up. And then there is another folder I can't find right now, but I know it's here. A vendor camera? Is that it? No. It's firmware. Well, I don't remember right now, but I'm telling you, if you find it, if you want to take the risk, try deleting it. Uh, don't do it. It's not worth it, man. I'm just saying. Unless you have this nice backup equipment like I do for my device. And what if, like... I just just don't mess around with the apps itself because I once was a stupid dumb butt thinking that if I were to delete um the silk browser if you if you didn't know what that is that's the Amazon most commonly used web browser it's the only web browser you have I thought if I were to delete it I could set Google Chrome as my default one but that is a hundred percent wrong I lost it I it was so bad my device just kept on killing itself because it lost one of its most important applications and I deleted it so then I had to reset my device and I'm pretty happy about it by the way this device is four years old it's still running like it has been one years old it's fast it's speedy I love you with all my heart Kindle and I hope you stay with me for another 80 years until I don't know Why do I keep on getting emails? Oh, well. So, that's the end of the episode. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, just... I mean, go launch your... You saw how to do it. Go ahead, try doing it yourself. I'm just suggesting you... Please don't mess with the web... The already app store installed stuff. The, uh, it's already on the device. It's there for a reason. If you take it off, there's a big chance of a miss function on your device. So, yeah. So, please, can you please subscribe? Subscribe, like, and I love you guys. You guys are all beautiful. See ya tomorrow. Why you no stop? No, stop.